A Santa Fe couple decided to pack up their lives and move halfway around the world to help total strangers. They don't have any connections to Ukraine, but still felt compelled to do their part and then, and then some for that war ravaged country. News 13's Carla Sosa spoke with that couple about their life changing decision. We realize this is the place we need to be. And so we just transformed our life. We quit our jobs. When war in Ukraine broke out last year, Rock and his wife Emmy Durham didn't think twice. They booked their first flight to Ukraine in April. After volunteering in Poland and Ukraine, they felt they could do the most good living full time in the war torn country. So they packed up their Santa Fe home, sold their cars, and moved overseas. We moved to Western Ukraine and we've linked up with organizations over here that help out not only the internally displaced people, but our uh, any foreign volunteers and uh, Ukrainian military. They've provided support services to families who have decided to stay in their country, even helped animals in need of shelter. There's one heartwarming memory Rocky remembers the most, when two friends who lived in the same subway station for 10 weeks with their families were reunited months later. They met each other again at the aquarium in Lviv. And just like seeing these two friends from a city that's literally a thousand miles away. I mean, Ukraine is huge. And here these two girls see each other again. The couple says for now, Ukraine is their home. They feel their work overseas is far from finished. One thing that we've experienced uh, just being here with the Ukrainian people on a day-to-day -day business, just living and breathing Ukraine, is that we want to be here for the rebuild. There's there's going to be a lot of work. Carla Sosa, KRQE News 13. Before the move, Rocky worked as a chef in Santa Fe, and he's been featured in our segment in the kitchen. He's been using his skills as a chef to make meals for the Ukrainian families that they have been helping.